sewing a buttonhole on the single sewing machine. So set to your buttonhole stitch there. Make sure you're between zero and one and you can adjust it to the stitch width you want. So if you want to have the stitches very close together or you want them a little bit further apart, ignore the one on the left because that was me playing with the balance. So the one on the right is the stitch length. So I've narrowed it down to closer to zero. Don't go all the way to zero because it means it will stay still. Then you've got your stitch width. So how wide do you want your zigzags to be at the bar tack at the bottom? Let me show you again. So you can have a narrow, narrower buttonhole and a wider one. So I'm going all the way up to six. Then place your button in the buttonhole section at the back. So if I show you this way, so open it up like this. So just push that section. You can probably push this actually. So push this lever up and place the button in there. Then close it so that it's nicely snug in there. And we're going to put the foot, so this ankle here, onto this bar here. And the way to do that is just make sure that you can lift the presser foot up a little bit more. There's a spring in there to allow you to have an extra lift and then just clamp it in place. And you can check it's in properly because when you lift the presser foot lever, that lifts up as well. I've got my automatic threader there, but there's another lever at the back there with a picture of a buttonhole on there. So pull that down and then push it back and when you push it back it resets it for a brand new buttonhole. I've got two layers of stabiliser there and two layers of fabric there because usually you, that's what you would use, you would use two layers of stabiliser or interfacing, whatever you want to call it, it's the same thing, and two layers of fabric. So the buttonhole starts with the bar tack at the front, zigzags all the way to the back and then bar tacks at the back and comes all the way back to the front and we'll do a bar tack there. You've got lines there and if you set your buttonhole so that you join that cross across with those lines and that line with the centre line then you will know you should be going in the right direction. Place that into the machine where I need it make sure that lever is pushed to the back like that press the foot is down and just so so the click at the back was the peg hitting this buttonhole lever and then it knows to come back forward It stops automatically at the start, and there we go, done. So to do the buttonhole again from the side, there's the lever, give it a push, and it clicks into position there. And you'll watch this peg hit that lever, so the lever will tell the machine to work the other way. Every time you want to start a new buttonhole, make sure you push this lever back so that it's reset, ready for a new buttonhole.